So it's Boxing Day, Boxing Day in effect. It's the 27th of December 2020 and it's been about an hour now since I jumped on the scales and saw the damage that the last two days has done. So like I say, it's the 27th of December. We did try to vlog on Christmas day when we went out on a dog walk, but with my girlfriend coming from New Zealand, we had to have a quick dog walk. We had to get back and, and FaceTime New Zealand and, and FaceTime Australia where our daughter lives. And, and then because of the way the world is at the minute, we had to go and FaceTime my parents. So we've done all these little like present opening sessions over Zoom. And, and that's fine when, when family lives in New Zealand, Australia. When they live in a couple of villages away, it seems a bit strange, but it's the way it has to be this year. And, and as it turns out, the normal routine of Christmas day of getting up and opening presents at eight, nine o'clock maybe, we didn't actually open our own presents for each other till about midday because we're so busy on calls with everybody else and connecting with all our family. So <clears throat> I started to vlog Christmas day, Christmas day morning. Um, and I had the vision of, of vlogging all day, but it didn't quite work out like that. So uh, there's a little bit of a vlog here and a little bit of present opening with Oscar. Other than that, we're back to where we are today. I stepped on the scales two days after Christmas. It's a little bit different for me because I'm actually trying to put weight on. So I have put on a kilo in what seems to be about three days. For me, that's a really good thing. I've spent the last year tracking my food, eating the right amount of calories, eating the right amount of food, getting the right amount of protein in, exercising. Turns out all I needed was back-to-back -back roast dinners and I would have put on the kilo that I was trying to put on for the last six months. But also know not everyone's that lucky and most people are not trying to put on weight over Christmas. They're trying to either maintain or lose it. Well, maybe not lose it over Christmas, but definitely maintain. So going on the scales two days after Christmas Day, so Boxing Day, Boxing Day, is difficult to take when you jump on, you've put on a kilo. It's easy to understand why. There's been two roast dinners, there's been cheeses, been crackers, been things like after eight, sweet treats, there's been crisps, there's been alcohol. Of course, it's easy to put on a kilo. And that's actually fine for a couple of days through December. It's Christmas day, we want to enjoy ourselves, Boxing Day, enjoy that as well. Be with the family where we can, whether that be as it is this year, on Zoom, on FaceTime, on WhatsApp and stuff like that. But let's enjoy the time, let's enjoy Christmas and put on a kilo is not the end of the world, it will soon come back off. But if we choose to eat that food all through the year, which is quite easy to do, you know, it's quite bloody addictive. You start eating this food like the crisps and, and the cheeses and you have a little bit of alcohol and, and it becomes a habit. Your body gets used to the, to the carby foods, to the high salt level in the processed foods, the high sugar levels, and it becomes addictive and it's hard to break that habit. And that's why it progresses into January to February. Our weight keeps creeping up. Put on a kilo over a Christmas week, not the end of the world. If you put on a kilo every week over the course of a year, suddenly it starts to become a bit more of a problem. So we have to be really mindful of that as the year goes on. For me now, two days after putting on a kilo, I'm gonna walk Oscar, we're gonna go back, we're gonna do a good gym workout, make the most of this extra weight, begin to tone up a little bit, begin to get some definition back after these few days. Because I haven't worked out over Christmas, why would you? It's Christmas time, you don't wanna spend Christmas day, boxing day in the gym. But for me, the key is getting back to normality as quickly as possible, which means getting out, getting some good walks in, going going for a bit of a run, getting in the gym, burning those calories off that we've taken in, they've extra calories. I know for a fact I generally burn around about 600 to 700 calories a day through exercise alone, so that equates to probably the extra, the extra bit of weight I've put on. If I'd done that over Christmas Day, Boxing Day, maybe the extra six, 700, 800 calories that I'd eaten over a few days wouldn't have, uh, wouldn't have stuck around so long. So do keep enjoying your food over Christmas, but just be mindful that you don't want the, the Christmas way of eating to, to drag on through January, February, all the way up to August. It's not gonna do us any good at all. Other than that, enjoy your break. We're in that sort of no man's land now between Christmas and New Year. And well, we don't even have the end of a new year because none of us have got any parties to go to. We can't go out and celebrate with big fireworks displays. So it's a bit of a nothing week for most of us. Enjoy the time off, rest, relax, watch more of these YouTube videos on this channel. If you like this video, hit the like button for me down below, the big thumbs up button. That'd be great, big help for me. And also hit the subscribe button if you have not already, so you don't miss out on any future videos. Take care, and I will see you all again in that next video.